So how are you all doing? Uh, just jumping on quickly because I had a full day today and um, a very um, busy afternoon. And just feeling the lovely energy of the blue super moon which is coming into night in its fullest. And it's amazing actually, two of my clients that were coming in this morning were all saying, oh my God, did you see the moon last night? Which is so lovely because the moon in itself is getting that recognition that she well deserves. And as we all know, especially the women out there, the moon has many effects on our lives, um, especially for women, the menstrual cycle. It causes the mood to change. It causes us to go a bit scatty. <clears throat> my husband always looks out the window and says, oh my God, it must be a full moon out there when he goes. He knows that I'm going mad cleaning and um, scrubbing out presses that I have not touched in months. And um, it is always for me, I don't know what it is for you, but it always is a decluttering of my junk because we hoard so much stuff in our life. Um, we are hoarders and clutterers and we like to keep things just for the sake of it. So if you're like me, you will have presses and attics and boxes full of crap. Uh, last night I spent my night um, clearing out storage on my computer because I've done my phones. I had to get a new phone because my storage was so full of people's voice notes from QHHT. And um, I went through my laptop last night to try and get rid of this stuff there too because it's amazing how much uh, you accumulate even when it comes to emails in your um, spam folders and uh, emails that you um, haven't even read. So I did a big clear out there last night. So that's normally how it happens for me. I do like to get rid of stuff as I get rid of the old and bring in the new and that's what the um, energies of the full moon brings in general. So Normally with the full moon energies, that's how it energetically affects me. I don't know how it affects you, but a lot of people uh, that I know, especially my students, my clients, uh, do the same where they feel like their mood changes. They feel like they get a bit erratic. Um, they feel like uh, a lot of stuff goes wrong for them. Um, uh, they start to lose uh, people, experiences as in jobs, um, things in their lives like one of my ladies lost her um uh, wallet that she has for years which said ah oh, you know what i was looking a bit tattered so maybe it was meant to get lost and a new one to come in with abundance and lots of money inside but um we do um have an experience that when the full moon comes in we do um have um a mood change we have an experience of clear outs and that again goes in all um uh, all paths in your life so feel the energy of this full moon and especially the full moon tonight because the full moon tonight is a super moon and people are talking about this blue super moon i think the blueness has gone out of it i think because of the um change in our um our atmosphere and because of the change in what's been pumped out from um the industrial world that we live in that i think that the um energies and the coloring of the moon changes depending on what's in the atmosphere and the uh, super moon tonight would be the reason that we call it a super moon is because we have 12 normally we have 12 full moons in a year and 12 full moons normally this year we actually have a 13th one and the 13th one is coming in this month so august had a full moon on the 1st of august and a full moon on the 30th of August well in Ireland it is I mean, obviously we live in a different place it moves with the time but um, August we had one on the 1st and one on the 30th which is tonight and it comes into the middle of the night tonight, around one o'clock is when we get it going into the 31st and we normally have a full moon once every 29.5 days is how it works out so because a full moon comes around once every 29.5 days we actually have a 13th one this year and it's just so happening that it's coming in in the uh, month of August for us, first and the thirtieth, and also we have four super moons. So a super moon is what happens when the Earth um, is obviously being orbited by the Moon, and as the Moon orbits the Earth, it doesn't go in a perfect circle around. It sort of is an elongated circle, like a um, like a band, a circle band. And as that moon comes around and as it comes really close to the earth, it looks like it's huge. It looks like it's really bright. So tonight the earth and the moon are going to be so close that it's around, they say, around 222, 222, 222,043. So 222,043 miles away from the earth. And that is on average 17,000 miles 
less or more than or closer sorry closer than um all the other ones that average um uh, the others are, are within two three o and two five o so that's why uh, it's going to be really uh, looks like it's really close to me and i always find that when you go out in the middle of uh, as it's the sun is going down and the moon is coming up i think that as it comes up onto the horizon it looks super big and super bright so i think that's the time when you can go out and see it but i mean last night i was literally hanging out my window anyone who knows me and anyone who lives on my road my neighbors think i'm absolutely nuts because in the nighttime when I have the full moon, I'm literally swinging out of my window trying to get a picture of it. Um, I'm sure everyone and their granny is doing the same and they will be doing it tonight because we all love an Insta photograph of uh, the moon. But even at that, the intention is to get out and actually feel the energy of it. So as that super moon is going to come in tonight, that energy of the super moon is going to bring with it uh, a little bit of the um, erratic energy. It brings in energy that might do this like the waves because the moon has such a powerful effect on our waves as we know. It brings in higher tides. And when um, our energies do that, like where they go up and down, ebb and flow, imagine yourself like a little buoy on the water or a buoy that will eventually stable itself and come back as the energy of the moon recedes and goes back. The, the electromagnetic pull of the moon is very powerful. And we know that as women because it does cause an effect on our menstrual cycle. And, you know, when it comes to a full moon, you find that if you live in a house full of women, we all come in um, on our menstrual cycle at the same time. So that causes also the mood swings. So that's for the women out there, but I'm sure the men are the same. So what I do normally on my full moon, um, my full moon checklist as such is that I love to write my intentions of all the things that I want to bring into my life and all the things that I want to release, surrender and release out of my life. So anything in my life that's not bringing me joy, I try to put use that in my intentions to say all um, the good things that's going to bring me joy, all the good things that's going to come into my life for my highest good, I'm going to bring them in and I bring them in with the full moon energy. Harvesting them in like the harvest moon that is in tonight and I want to surrender and release. And when you do a, a full moon ritual, it's really um, easy to do a full moon ritual. You go out to the full moon and you write out your intentions of what you want and you write out what you want to release. And you set your intention that those cords are cut from you, from people, karmic connections, ancestral energies, generational energies, um, childhood traumas, anything that's connected to your energetic body that you want to get rid of, you can do that in a cutting of the cord ceremony where you surrender and release. That's my beautiful um, uh, grandfather cock in the background, um, the masculine energy. And um, you set your intentions of what you want to bring in with the full moon energy. You light it in the fire. If you have a little fire pit out the back, you light in the fire. And obviously be very careful with matches. You know, you're not chick, but, you know, don't get me in trouble if you set something on fire. Um, set it on fire and let it go out to the universe and let the universe bring you back in all the lovely things that your intentions wanted to bring back into your life that brings joy and love and happiness and peace and abundance and all of that. So set out your um, intentions, let go of all the crap in your life that you want to get rid of. Um, set out your crystals. As you know, I love all my crystals, my bands, my bracelets, my, um, I brought home my Shungai pyramids, um, my loads of Shungai pyramids in the office. I brought them all home tonight to be able to put them outside into the beautiful full moon energy and let the energy of this full moon be um, amplified into those Shungai pyramids to be sort of be extra special for whoever takes them. And I also do a saging. So at the end of my full moon rituals, I do a little bit of a saging in my um, space. So in my house, I do a saging. In my office, I do a saging. So I sage all the rooms to clear out of all the old energy. And I also sage my own self. So saging your body is very good to let go. And I always end the, the night off with a, a lovely salt bath or a lovely sea swim. If it's a warm out there still to get into the sea tonight, I know a lot of them do the Moonstock down in Port Marnock. Get into the sea is beautiful energy to connect to Mother Earth. And, um, or the bath if you're not um, um, uh, able for the cold like me. Um, but if you can get into the bath and put in Epsom salts and you will feel the lovely energy of that removing all and transmuting energy from your body. Um, go to bed, have a lovely rest tonight and do a meditation if you want. I have one that I will put on my um, stories of the full moon energy, also explaining of the last full moon we had. And this next super blue moon will not be in until January 2037. So tonight, enjoy the energy of it. Namaste.